Howdy. I'm making this video to show y'all how to add a modular pop-up. So an example here, where you have a button and it gives a pop-up. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put that actually in the header section where a button or a widget would normally go. So to do that, uh, you actually have to make this a saved module. So I'm going to go into the Beaver Builder of this website. Click on here show that it is just a regular old modular pop-up from the ultimate add-ons collection uh, you're, instead of hitting save whenever you're done with your changes you're gonna hit save as so this is going to save it as a saved module so I'm just gonna label this header pop-up okay so now that that's saved as a module we'll actually need the short code for this so Beaver Builder has a protocol for its shortcode uh, seen here where it inserts this ID number. So all we have to do is find the ID number of the Beaver Builder thing we just saved. All right? So I'm going to save these and publish that. Now to get to your saved Beaver Builder templates, you have to go to this Beaver Builder plugin tab over here. Go to saved modules. Okay. And we'll see this header pop up that we just saved, right? And so there's a couple ways to get the actual pop up ID. It's kind of hidden at first. You'll see it right here. So this 426 is the code for the actual pop up itself, right? So if I plop that 426 in here, and wherever I put this short code, Right, I'm gonna copy that. Wherever I put that short code, it'll show that module now. So we're gonna come back here, go to the customizer to get to this button over here. And whenever that shows up, there's this little pencil mark here to kind of quickly go to it. So right now it's showing the last menu item as a button, which is good. Uh, but we're actually gonna make that text slash HTML and I'm going to remove all this and actually paste in that short code. Now it's going to look funny over here, uh, but that's fine because it'll eventually look good whenever we save it all, publish it all, and it's always good to clear the cache after you make significant changes on your website. Okay, so we're going to publish this and I'm going to go through those steps right now. So it's published. We're going to Get out of that and now you see that that button is there we're going to purge the cache and now whenever i click on this that pop-up will show up as if it's just like this now if you wanted to make this modular pop-up not just simple content or you know add some pizzazz to it uh, you can actually put a beaver builder saved function in there so if we go back to the saved modules uh, we'd rather do a saved row or saved module. Uh, so in this case, I'll actually do a saved row. So if I add in a saved row, so header. Okay. Make it a saved row, and now you're just going to edit it like any other Beaver Builder module or row for this matter. So if I wanted to add a three column layout, Let's do, let's add three columns in there. And for the first, we'll add a photo. Just use this first one here. All right, select that. Save that. For the next one, we'll just add a heading. Save that, and uh, I don't recommend adding any buttons. It kind of messes with the established button that's here. Uh, for some reason, the developers, uh, I, I have been in contact with them, and there is no fix for this button interfering with whatever, any button that's ever on the actual pop-up itself. Uh, it gets the two links a little bit confused. Uh, so I don't recommend having any call to actions or any other buttons. Uh, but you can add any other content itself. So 
Uh, in this instance, we'll add, I guess we can add another photo. So we can add, sure, that. So saving that, so now we'll publish it. So now whenever we go to the header pop-up, so if I go back to my dashboard and go iterate back to the Beaver Builder Saved Modules, so if we edit this pop-up again, we can select, instead of just doing normal content, we can actually go to Saved Rows and then go to that row pop-up that we just made. So now the pop-up's there. So whenever they click on that in the header over here, so let me go to the dashboard, yeah, <clears throat> purge the cache. I recommend purging the cache whenever you are uh, working on projects. That way the changes are a little bit more immediate to everyone else on the internet. So if we visit the home page, now by clicking on this, you'll see it is that row that we set up originally. Now, you'll see there is a lot of white space on these edges. That's because there is not only the padding on the pop-up, but there's also padding on the whatever module or row that you set within the pop-up uh, module. So if you want to get rid of this white space, I recommend toning down on the um, actual things itself. So for example, if I were to go in here and go to the advanced, this is the margins and it's in pixels. So if I wanted to make this a very small, right? Saving that, now there's not a lot of margin in between top and bottom. And so I recommend doing that for anything that's going to be in this top header uh, because the slimness of this top header is very dependent on all the padding that you have on the, these things. And it's kind of dynamic. So if, for example, if I were to change my logo to where it's a lot larger, uh, the actual header itself would be pretty large as well. Hopefully this was helpful.